a year into YouTube, it wasn't going brilliantly well, but it was still my project and my purpose. So it was fulfilling that. Um, but the numbers weren't great. I had about, I had 38 subscribers. I had about a thousand hours of watch time and I was just putting out videos because it was doing something for me more than anything else. Mm -hmm. Um, and then on one particular uh, day, and I can't remember which day it was specifically, but there was a day where in a 24 hour period, I got literally no views on my channel for that 24 hour period, even though I was constantly putting stuff up. So I put a tweet out and it was not a tweet looking for sympathy or anything else. It was just a tweet looking for, to use the experience of the community. And my tweet simply says, how do you cope if you have a zero view day? Dot, dot, dot. And lots of people piled in with lots of suggestions about what you could look at and what you could change and what you could be and what you should be and all sorts of other helpful and interesting things. Loki Doki's name came up in that conversation for a reason I can't remember, but it meant that he became aware of the conversation. And instead of jumping in and doing what everybody else was doing, of you should do this, you should try that, you should think about that, you should move that. He went away and made a video about my channel and put it up on his channel called The Curious Case of the United City FM. And it was a 20 minute look at my channel saying, this guy's all right. There's no bad things about what he's doing. Why is he not getting the views? What can we constructively criticize about it? What can we do? Oh, and by the way, go and show him some love. Mm. So on the Friday, I recorded a video to 38 people. And by the Monday, I was recording a, vi a video for 2,500 people.